Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here, back again with another Dragon Ball Super episode review. And today's episode that we're going to be reviewing is episode 84, of course. And we're going to go ahead and jump in and basically start off from where it ended at the last episode. And basically Goku leaves from Bulma's place and then he goes out and starts looking for Krillin in 18. Well, he already knows where they are, but he starts leaving to go and recruit basically Krillin and 18 they go join in the tournament of power but because they don't know what's at stake for whether or not they win or lose or not in the tournament of power they don't go ahead and tell them because as you all, you may already know in the last episode Gohan advises that we shouldn't tell anyone whether or not if if you lose your your universe gets erased or if you win you know you're safe but all the other universes basically get their universe erased so uh, go, uh, Gohan and Goku, they go ahead and they look up, uh, they look for Krillin, and then it jumps to a couple of scenes of Krillin, and he's just like out doing his job, and his job is of him just basically being a police officer. He's a policeman, and so they go ahead and they go back to um, uh, Krillin's place uh, where 18 and Marin are, and with uh, Goku and Gohan. And they basically go and explain that there's a tournament of power going on, it's going to be a battle royale, and the way that you win is by knockout of the ring. And you need 10 fighters uh, for each universe, right? And whoever is the universe that gets knocked out of all their 10 fighters initially loses, and that's what happens, because it's a, it's a battle royale, so all of them are going to fight all at once. So it's not in terms of strength, it's in terms of strategy which they ultimately end up understanding. And Krillin, he wants to do it, and in 18, he's, uh, 18, she's not really wanting to do it because they obviously don't know that it's at stake for their universe of it being erased. So what Goku ends up doing is that he ends up uh, coming up with a lie right, on, right off the spot, and he basically uh, then says that for each person, they get 10 million zenny, which is kind of funny because, uh, as you may remember, uh, back in, in Z, in Dragon Ball Z, uh, when 18 was fighting uh, Hercule or Mr. Satan, uh, she basically told Mr. Satan to give her a whole bunch of zenny, and then she would basically throw in the, the match. And that's what, I, that's what ended up happening. And I thought I think that was pretty funny how Goku had to pretty much lie about getting Zenny as a reward for winning in order to actually like get 18 to join into the tournament. And so she agrees, and then Krillin starts to uh, agree as well because he, he really wants to do it. But Gohan, uh, he's not really sure why Goku is so confident in Krillin. Uh, he's not really too sure why he's so confident in Krillin. And so Gohan basically asked Krillin to go ahead and just do a spar. They, they go ahead and just, they just go do a spar in an area where no one's around and they can just basically go all out and all that stuff. So uh, a sparring match between Gohan and Krillin go ahead and, uh, and starts. Uh, Krillin is pretty much holding his own, but Gohan's not really going all out as it's, it seems like. And then of course he starts actually like retaliating back and he's actually like go, going in kind of all out I guess and then Krillin out of nowhere comes out with a new technique and it is uh, the solar flare times 100 or the Taioken times 100 and that's very interesting I'm very interested to see what we're gonna see uh, what we're gonna see in the actual tournament as it turns of different techniques from Krillin because if that's new I wonder what else he's got, like, in his back pocket, I guess, for the tournament when he actually fights everybody else. So I'm actually fairly interested to see what Krillin's going to be doing. And we go ahead and we jump to a different scene, and it's Goku, and he, he he's ready to know whether or not Goku, not Goku, I'm sorry, Krillin is, you know, is going to hold his own. So he goes ahead and spars with him as well in a completely different area. And it's actually like in a building, like city area, on top of a building, of the of a Hercule building or Satan building or whatever it's called. I don't, I don't really remember it off the top of my head. But they go ahead and they go ahead and start off the match. And Krillin, 
is, well, he's holding his own, and it's really surprising. I was really surprised to see Krillin kind of hold his own against Goku, but of course Goku's not going all out. He's he's in his base form, not really doing anything, but Krillin is still pulling out, like, all these destructive deaths, these key blasts. He's pushing Goku back, and then, of course, uh, at the very end of the scene, they go uh, Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue, and then they have a clash of Kamehameha. And Krillin is pushing it back, but Goku is still holding back, as you see uh, a little bit later on, uh, like a minute or so. And an A-Team jumps in, kicks the Key Blast away, and then they go ahead and, because uh, they're doing it by the rules of the Tournament of Power, because of the Battle Royale, they, they notice that if you want to win, you need to have strategy, and it's not always going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. And so A-Team jumps in to help out Krillin against Goku, uh, in, the, in the initial fight. And then Krillin, not Krillin, uh, Goku goes back to his base form and he's like, nah, that's enough. I understand like that you two are ready and I, he still needs to learn a lot more about the, uh, about the tournament and what really is going to happen. Because Goku was just going in thinking like, oh, I'm just going to be able to fight strong guys like all at once and that's really all he had as a mindset but he didn't realize that there's so much more to this tournament as it turns of actually like being in the ring and actually like fighting like everybody else on one uh, at once because it's not going to be one-on-one -on -one all the time sometimes it could be a two-on-one two -on or a two-two or a three-three-three three, so on and so forth it, anything could happen and that's going to go ahead and end off the episode. The, basically what we see is a couple of glimpses of Android 17 because Goku actually goes ahead and asks his 18 if she knew where Android 17 was. And all, all we know right now is that 17 is a park ranger. And if you guys have read in the Konsenshi, I'm pretty sure it says in there, there was an interview with Toriyama. And he said basically Android 17 lives with a family and he's a park ranger. I'm going to go ahead and end, end off the video here and, and just say that I really like this episode mainly because it showed off more of what Krillin can do and I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next with Krillin in the initial tournament and not only just him but like Tien, Roshi, Piccolo and so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys enjoyed leave a like and subscribe for brand new content on the channel. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.